Everybody, this is an alert. Bitcoin has just put in a structure that is indicating 77K will get hit. Here, we have put in the starting structure. This, when you get this wave structure, it takes you directly to 77K, where from there, anything is possible. If you are looking at the way this formed down here, I mean, the shape here is immaculate. 77k is incoming psych you are on the wrong channel guys i'm telling you right now i'm gonna give you a dose of reality straight to your face as to why lower targets are coming this will get broken before this high gets broken if you are new to the channel you know when we were down here i said this high is going to get taken out before this low is getting taken out everyone was so bearish down here they thought 40k was coming i longed this i said this will get taken out which it did before this gets taken out and now i am saying this i'm sorry this will get taken out before this gets taken out Stick around guys, I'm gonna explain why I think this. What I am seeing on the charts here, if you're new to the channel, I only trade Bitcoin, I only trade Ethereum, leverage trading, that is it, those two things. And I use Elliott Wave Theory to come up with high probability trades. Of course, we have other indicators that we look at, other things that we do here. If you wanna learn more about how, how I trade, my technique, join the free Discord. It is pinned in the first comment down below. In the free Discord, you will have access to my free course. It's a free trading course. Go take the course, see how I get down, see how I do things. Um, and just join the free community. Also, follow me on Instagram. You will be able to see my face on this Instagram. I'm letting more followers come in. I'm posting life stuff. I'm posting trading motivation. Drop me a follow. Also pinned in the first comment down below. See you over on Instagram. Don't be sliding in my DMs though. Don't be sliding in my DMs. Okay. Unless you're cute. If you're cute, you can hit me up in the DMs. I hope my girlfriend's not watching this. Sorry. Okay. Guys. This is a impulsive move, an impulsive move that we have got off the bottom. There's no doubt about it. Here we go. Hey, how are you? How you doing? I, I am unfazed. I am unfazed. I'm sitting in my short. If this stops me out at break even, ask me how much I care. Zero. I will re-enter. This is how I do things. You guys can trade, scalp, do whatever you want to do. If you're making money, good on you. Keep doing your thing. I'm going to keep doing my thing because it's working out for me quite nicely. Now, getting into the analysis here, guys. Why I am seeing more downside continuation is very simple. Long story short, how I'm viewing this is a flat correction. The one-to-one, -one, and we will go over this, is coming up in here. And I'm going to show you some nice trade setups as well, guys. You got you, you to stick it out through this whole video. It's going to be short. Um, we could take the high out. We could come up here. There's FIB targets up here. But I, I can't have this high taken out for this to be the count. All right. But that, I mean, just because I want this to be the count isn't the reason why I'm saying this. I'm going to go into more detail. But this is the overall structure. I'm seeing a flat correction in, in Elliott Wave terms. If you don't know Elliott Wave, guys, take the course in the Discord. Just go do it. Now, I have a correction up from our bottom here. This looks like a corrective wave down that broke the low. A corrective wave down that broke the low. In Elliott Wave terms, you would be looking for a an impulsive wave to the upside to finish out our C leg. It's just a flat correction, guys. It's just a flat. Chill out. Chill out. We had a finished ABC look. That was a finished correction right here. I'm going to take this short every single time. I'm going to take it again and again and again. If it shows itself tomorrow, I will take it again every single time because I have an impulse off of the top here, which we did short. We shorted this at 66.2 and we closed out our short right here. We longed this. We shorted this. I'm going to take this short every single time. I have an impulse of five waves. One, two, three, four, five. Off of the top. Off of the top. That's the start of something for me, guys. That's the start of something. That's not the end of something here. We had a correction up. I was looking for one, two, three, four, five. I was looking for another five waves. I would have TP'd down here if we got there. We didn't get there. We got a correction down. Looking closer at this correction. Zooming in. 
if we pull fibs on it you got down it, it's it was extended down to the 1618 very extended correction right you know I'm not hindsight's 2020 could have hedged against this being a flat taking some profit here but I'm fine I'm cool in yesterday's video I told you this trend line needed to hold otherwise it wasn't going to look good for immediate downside continuation. I told you that in yesterday's video. And guess what? It did not hold. It does not look good for immediate downside continuation. This is the bottom line. We're getting a beautiful impulse up out of here. And you would expect that in a flat correction. I would expect nothing else. This is totally fine. This happens. This is normal. And Elliott Wave traders are prepared for that. We are prepared for that. We know this is a thing. So, looking at this wave as a whole, just kind of zoomed out from, you know, the ultimate low that we put in. As you guys know, or if you're new to this channel, you're about to find out, I'm calling for some action like this. And then lift off, this is the wave structure I have been playing. So if this is an extending flat correction, you would say the two waves here, looking for three, looking for four, looking for five, something like that. This is getting a little too extended out time-wise. If this ends up in here, it's gonna look a little bit better for me. I would love for it to end up in there and not take our position out, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna show you the FIB targets in here, the, the possible places to short as well. We're gonna zoom in on this, but I need to show you the overall picture and why it's still in place, still intact. Nothing is wrong with it at all. I'm gonna show you why I don't think this is a finished correction. Let's go over that right now, actually. Let's go over that right now. And guys, we did we did go over all this in the group talk over in the premium discord. I actually just alerted of a swing short on Ethereum, which is that's the short that you have you see me in right now. Um, you know, I stand by my trades. I take my trades. I don't just alert. So if you want access to the premium channels, the premium alerts, daily alerts, constant alerts by yours truly, 24/7 live Elliott Wave charts. We have group talk, uh, group streams. My indicators are all included. I am running a discount code for $20 off your first month. There's only 20 redemptions of this. So the code is first 20. You can see how many likes it has. I can tell you they're not all taken up. So if it's still available, use this code first 20. You get $20 off your first month to give it a try. It's found within the free discord. You just click upgrade here. Go to the WAP link. It takes you directly to my page. Boom. Get the membership. See you in there. Right? Now. There's people calling for this to be a finished wave to the downside, ABC, and now we're going to start cooking. Guys, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But I have problems with this. Big problems with this. Number one, my first problem is that when I pulled the FIB extension, we have hit off the 786 FIB and we have bounced. This is the minimum requirement for an ABC correction. It is valid. It can bounce there. It is not probable, but it can happen. So that doesn't completely rule it out for me, but I will tell you what does. It doesn't completely rule it out for me, but it, it makes the chances of it bouncing here quite low. That's my first issue of this being a finished correction and then more downside. And that would be just correcting this wave. So we have a starting wave correction, more upside, right? I don't know if I said more downside. But... That's number one. This wave is too shallow. I would have liked to see a little deeper. And that's where I had a TP just in case this wanted to be a finished correction, right? That's where I had a TP on my short. Um, we didn't get that. We got the 786. Number two. Number two, this starting wave was one, two, three, four, five waves. This was an impulsive wave. You can't tell me it was a corrective wave. I will laugh at you if you say that was a corrective wave. If you're actually reading that as being corrective, you know, good on you. The chances of this being corrective is like 1%, okay? So if, you're, if, you, if you like those odds, go ahead and play it. With this being an impulsive wave, I'm looking for the attaching wave for an ABC to also being an impulsive wave. It needs to be an impulsive wave for me. 
I see a corrective wave. This does not look impulsive. This looks corrective. No matter how I chop it up, no matter how I tr how much I try to make an impulsive wave from this, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. You'd have to call this your wave three. That's too short. That would be the shortest wave. I just don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's corrective. So for me, when I see an impulsive wave down. I see a correction up, a correction down that breaks the low. I'm looking for an impulsive wave up, comes up into this territory, and then we dump, right? And it's really just a correction. It's a, it, it, instead of this being the correction, they're extending it out time-wise, and, and this whole thing is a correction, right? I do not see this high getting taken out. I do not see us coming up like this. If you caught this long here, good on you. Good on you. Good job. Round of applause. So, where are our targets to possibly short this sucker? Where can we short this? If you're trading over on Blowfin, I did put in Ethereum short. And we can go over that. Uh, but if you, if you do want to trade on Blowfin, guys, they are no KYC. It's what everyone is using. It's what I use. Love it. For my community, we have this deposit bonus hooked up. It's exclusive campaign with Blowfin. You get these initial deposit bonuses depending on how much you throw in you automatically get that and then you get the trading bonuses as well so depending on how much you trade you will get the additional bonuses you get both of these bonuses so go ahead take advantage of that campaign right now it is running pin in the first comment you click the link and you are automatically entered into that campaign so if you want to give them a try now's your chance go ahead do it so hopping back into the bitcoin chart if this is our entire correction, A, B, C, looking for an impulsive, impulsive C leg, I'm pulling fibs like I would any other A, B, C, any other A, B, C. That's the fib pull. One to one, you know, I love this target it's sitting right here. As you guys know, my entry is right here. I'm chilling in it. If it gets taken out, obviously, you know, these higher fib targets are in play. These... I don't want this to get taken out. So it could come up all the way up to the start of this wave, guys. It very well could. But what I'm looking for as far as indications of where this wave is ending, I want to see a clear five waves. I want to see a clear five waves here. And quite frankly, this sucker has pushed and pushed and pushed. I don't even see a one-two. Like your closest thing to a one-two is right here. And I don't, I, I don't like that. I need to see a clear five waves. At the minimum, I need to see a clear wave four. So maybe over the weekend we get a, some of some of this action WXY. We pipe up for one more right at our one to one target, and then we come down. Could be the case, and then you know you could say okay one two somewhere in here three four five, finished five waves. Let's short this sucker. There is a an immense amount of liquidity sitting down here around 57k. Immense. I think this move just absolutely took out the shorters that shorted this. The shorters that definitely shorted this, they're taken out. Who's left? Me and whoever else shorted the tippy top. Are they going to come up and take us out? I don't know. I only have 8 BTC on that. Are, who else has money up there? I don't know who shorted the top right there, but we'll see if they want to come take us out as well. I'm ready for it, and I don't care if they do because I will re-enter. Looking for five waves to finish. And then from there, once we get a finished five waves, we will have a finished flat. And I will look at at least an ABC into this level, 56, 57K at least. I will have TP set here. But I would love to see continuation down like so. I want this low to hold. And then I have a nice flat correction right here. And then we can go and cook to the upside, right? But we will see how this all plays out. I'm ready for anything. I hope you are subscribed to the channel if you want to stay up to date. I post daily Bitcoin updates. I'll see you in the Discord. Use the freaking code before it gets used up. First 20 for $20 off to get in the premium Discord with us. Great community. 
I'll see you over on Blowfin. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. Trade safe. I love you. Bye.